So, I think it's important to realize that the ego has many purposes for the body and, and none of them are true. That's good to remember. Second thing is, the Holy Spirit has one function for the body and that's the communication device. It's, that's, it's better to start thinking of your body like your cell phone. Yeah. Really. It's like, uh, don't treat your body any differently than you would a cell phone. You don't go to your cell phone at night. Are you warm enough there? You need, you need some covers? I'm going to tuck you in. <laughs> Are you hungry? You are? Okay, I'll plug in right now. <laughs> you want to be at 100%? Okay, all night. And, and you don't, I mean, you get, may get a case for it to protect it, but some of these cases, have you seen some of these iPhone cases? Really diamonds and dress it up, you know. Some people have different wardrobes for their cell phone. Like, what, what do you want to wear today? You know. This is, if you could see that you're doing the same thing with the body that you're doing with the cell phone, it, and that you go to extreme efforts to use your mind for all the many purposes that the ego made up, made up for the body. And, uh, well, I'll get to the communication thing every once in a while. Call your mother. N no, really, you know, it's not a happy day if I do that. You know, the Spirit's always prompting us to, to let this be used to laugh, to share, to smile, to shine. Its only use is for a communication device. It's, it's not hard to remember. One purpose. Jesus is like, please remember this. It's just one. <laughs> not millions, just one. Just please focus on this. Because guess what? As you start to merge with this one function for the body, and you start to feel this unified awareness, when you give it over so much to the Holy Spirit, pretty soon you will learn to forget the body entirely. Yes, it will disappear from your awareness. Why? Because nothing in this world has existence in and of itself. Not a cell phone, not a cup, not a glass, not a shoe, not an apple, not a tree, not a mountain. Why would we think that this world of many, many parts are real when God is whole, God is one? Why would oneness create parts? Why would oneness need time? Why would eternity need time? It doesn't. The parts are part of the misperception, so basically, I was digging through the Course and I found many, many references. To the sole responsibility of the teacher of God is to accept the atonement. Yes, I saw that one twice. And I saw many passages where it said this, the one use that the Holy Spirit has for the body is for a communication device. And then one day, I was going through the Course and I came upon a sentence and I went, oh my God, it's in here. I couldn't believe I found it. I found this one reference where Jesus said, the body has no purpose. And I was like, oh wow. But you can imagine, if your mind becomes so unified, like the quantum field, everything's energy, everything's perfectly connected, that in the end, guess what disappears? Your awareness of things. You won't be thinking about things and situations you won't be thinking in separation. You won't be thinking in fragmented mind. You'll be thinking in unified, unified mind. And you are ready for God to take that last step because when everything becomes unified, when you start to see this is all energy and it's all in mind, then you, get, you are so close to heaven that God will lift you back to pure spirit to pure love, to pure light, to the kingdom of heaven.